This is potentially the most degen play that I'm going to be discussing today on this channel. So I've done several overviews of uh, degen dApps on the BSC. And this one, I think, takes the lead in there. So it brings back memories of the old miner days and it shifts away from the new era of static miners, so to speak. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. So if you didn't partake into this minor niche, so the original minor era, I'm going to just briefly explain be before we started doing auto IDAPs and static miners. So there was a time where people, for example, would create very simple UIs like this one, but it's a bit catchy. So you put in your blue chip asset. Let's say you're on a Binance Smart Chain, you put in BNB or BUSD and you get an underlying asset in return that takes value depending on the total value locked and the number of participants in the smart contract. Meaning the more you mint of this and the less the TVL or if the TVL remains as such, the backup for this underlying asset would be fixated, correct? Because you're not adding to your TVL. Henceforth, every single unit will decrease in value. Supply and demand, basic, uh, basic economics. So just to give you an example, imagine we're having a thousand of these versus 10 BNB in the smart contract that makes 0.01 BNB uh, the value of each of these, correct? Now, assuming that, again, this 10 BNB remains as such, so the TVL is not increasing, but we have more participant or more uh, of these units being minted through compounding, right? So you compound, you add more without actually adding any money to the total value locked. So now you have, let's say, 2,000 and still 10 BNB that slashes the value of one unit by half. So this is basically the logic. And the logic here is that you need to front run people in order for you to get more of these units at the beginning of the launch of the contract. Because as time goes on, more people compound, less people enter, TVL remains static or decreases a bit, the value of this decreases. So that's the biggest misconception versus a static miner where you get a certain uh, fixed value of the native asset that you're putting forth. So with that simple explanation out of the way, I'm going to quickly cover the mechanics of bunk beans. So bunk beans is actually a miner of the sort of whatever I just explained. It's not a static miner. It's a dynamic miner. All right. So it takes us back to the original days, which is cool i guess but again this type of miner was the riskiest type of miners or the riskiest dab that you could ever encounter anywhere on any chain right this is the riskiest stuff out there so just just to put it out there and you can clearly see by their daily roi that they're giving you eight percent a day so eight percent a day is you know is something that is out of question in regards to sustainability so on and so forth so you enter with bnb you get 8% a day, but since this is a dynamic miner, you're getting 8% on the underlying asset, AKA the miners. So meaning if the miners value is equal to, let's say 0 0.01 BNB, you get 8% based on how many of these you have and you make the calculation. If that unit decreases in value, your 8% will still be 8%, but you will get less because you're uh, your minor value has decreased. Keep that in mind. So it's not 8% on the BNB you invested. It's 8% on the underlying asset. And of course, with any DG and DAP, there are rules and regulations that you need to follow. For example, there is a 10% direct referral fee. So there is no line in regards to referrals. So every person that enters with your link directly with your link you get 10 percent from their uh, stake by the way and that's why when you deposit there's a 15 percent tax five percent of that is delegated to it's not actually very clear though it's not said in the white paper but i assume it's uh part of the marketing slash dev fee slash whatever maybe a portion of it goes back to the contract and the 10 percent goes directly to your referral so it's taken from you and whenever you withdraw, there's also a 5% tax. So aside from the 10%, it's like five in, five out. 
and there's also a penalty tax that they added meaning after your first withdrawal if you want to withdraw a second time you incur 90 percent but that tax decreases by five percent every 12 hours so if you do the math it's about let's say nine uh, nine days where that tax would disappear completely all right it's very simple and there there is no max payout by the way this is part of the dgen uh og minor type of uh, type of uh, dab because they didn't used to be any of the sort so you enter you get your daily auto i and that's it until uh like the, the smart contract dilutes completely meaning the tvl shrinks to oblivion or the miners or whatever unit is called uh, decreases in value to a point where you have to reinvest to make a dent all right and there's a minimum deposit of 0.05 uh, bnb and when they launch in about three hours or so there is a maximum of 20 bnb that will be entered at the beginning and after that there's no limit meaning you can only put in a maximum of 1 bnb for the first 20 bnb per wallet and then after that 20 bnb threshold is filled then you can invest whatever you want and they also added an additional feature with which are nfts so there are three tiers more details in the white paper if you want to know but you basically pay a price for each of these nfts and it will give you more miners whenever you deposit or compound next so that's why people actually started minting the nfts today because whenever they will deposit they will get more miners in return for that nft mint and half of the value of that nft will go to the total value log so the smart contract and the other half will go to marketing now before i conclude this video i just want to pull out the audit report because they have been audited by the stamp and as you can see their overall score is quite good so from a safety perspective at least there's that right now there are no back doors the founder or the dev cannot you know touch the contract so to speak and they as you can see they referenced bnb miner as a similar project because that's perhaps the the og miner the most degen play of them all and it's similar to that all right so there's that and the team has done and they launched previous tokens like one called red floki green floki so during the hype of the bull run those did very well and there are practically uh, no owner privileges aside from the fact that they will initiate the start of the mining situation meaning by mining i mean when people enter the contract and exchange their bnb for miners and there's also the fact that nfts can be transferable once all right now with that out of the way i also just want to just show you quickly the situation uh with the smart contract because like i said whenever you buy an nft you can actually get more miners when you deposit on your new compound and even though the launch hasn't happened yet so there's still about three hours to uh i mean for it to happen the nft sale is already live so people have minted some of these nfts now if i go to the white paper uh, let's go quickly because i want to show you that uh in the nft section there are three tiers so like i said the more you pay the more additional miners you're gonna get whenever you deposit or compound so there are uh the three tiers so 0.5 1 and 1.5 bmb and half of this like we said goes to the smart contract so right now 10 bmb's worth of nfts were sold five of these uh, bmb's are currently present to the contract so it's not people who invested to try to snipe or there's no malicious entry from the developer team or anyone is just uh, bnb mints and you can verify this within the smart contract uh, yourself so with that said i just want to remind you once and for all that please keep in mind that this is a very risky degen play all right please do not assume that you're gonna make money out of a sustainable model this is just people front running each other and you put in a low amount and assume you've lost it if you made money and some profit out of it then great if not you played the game and you participated in one of the replicas of the og minor era all right so thank you hope you stuck around till the end see you in the next one have a good one